From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings, LA Late. It's a major morning here on Mornings, LA Late, as a 2023 stimulus checks are landing in American bank accounts. These are monthly stimulus checks They're available right now. They've been passed. We want to go over these incredible stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rental benefits, veterans benefits, low income, all of you, in today's recording. Plus, today we go to the breaking news as a new stimulus check is debuted. It's Stimulus Check R that debuts today on this channel. It is absolutely incredible, and it could be upwards of 260000 In some cases, it could be even more. But the breaking news we're dealing with right today is huge. We're going to go into the worst recession, potentially, since the last recession. We have breaking news today on where the market is going in a brand new recording. Plus, eggflation. Yes, eggflation. Eggflation's at issue because guess what's happening? Eggs, when we thought $12 for a dozen eggs was expenses, guess what? A new report says that's happening all the time. Then we'll be going into the latest details on these massive stimulus checks and that newsletter that helps it so easy. It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. The debut of a brand new stimulus check, the incredible 2023 stimulus checks pass, and those incredible stimulus checks available right now. Plus, we'll go over why 2023 will have more stimulus checks than ever before. Why is that? I'll tell you the details in today's morning's broadcast. How are you? Good morning. Hope you're having a beautiful day. The toast is toasted. The butter is butter and the coffee is brewing. We're going to have a beautiful, wonderful morning's broadcast with brand new 2023 stimulus checks, the debut of stimulus R. And today we're going to learn why 2023 will have more stimulus checks than ever before. I'll explain to you why in this incredible broadcast. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good morning. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. We have a lot to go over. Those incredible 2023 stimulus checks pass. We'll go over the latest details on the market. Look at that graphic. The Dow up 333 initially this morning. And where is it right now at 935 a.m.? We'll have the latest details on the NASDAQ. Initially up 221. Is it higher? All the breaking details. As a toast is toasted. The butter is butter and the coffee is brewing as a big, bold, beautiful morning's L.A. heats up. I'm excited to have you in the live chat. Let's get to the breaking news right now. And good morning, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day. The Dow was initially up 333 this morning for December 29, 2022. And the NASDAQ was initially up 221. But where is it right now? It's up even more. 18 months of stimulus checks heat up the market. $3,000 a month, five checks per month. And the great news is that 2023 stimulus checks have been passed. These are monthly stimulus checks. They're available right now. Again, these are 2023 stimulus checks. They have been passed. They're monthly and they're available right now. Plus, we're going to go over not only those incredible 2023 stimulus checks available right now for you, SSI, SSDI, SSA, RB, VA, low income, for all of you that are watching right now, we're going to turn into a brand new stimulus check debut in today's broadcast. It's stimulus check R. Stimulus check R could be a lot of money for a lot of you. It could be over a million dollars. It's incredible. If there's 10 of you that work with you, wow, that's 260,000. We'll have the latest details on that. Plus, the worst market since the last recession. LA's warning signal number one, was it hit or was it not hit? And eggflation. Give me residuals if someone else repeats that expression. Eggflation. <laughs> Go over into how much and how expensive a dozen eggs right are right now. Jump in the live chat and tell me how those eggs are doing for you in a big, bold, beautiful morning's broadcast. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for making this your home on your morning commute. Massive stimulus checks are available for millions of Americans in 2023. They've been passed, and these incredible stimulus checks are huge. And we're going to go over those incredible stimulus checks today that go from A to R. Yes, yeah, so we got a brand new stimulus check debut in today as well. These huge stimulus checks, the initial ones, are for you. 
If you make seventy-five thousand or less, you qualify. Marry a couple, one hundred fifty thousand less, you qualify. If you're on SSI, SSDI, SSARB, low income, therefore you you go get them. Go right in this video. Subscribe. Subscribe to channel one, channel two, and channel three. Go into the video. Become a member. And get ready to get those incredible stimulus checks. And without a delay, let's go into those incredible stimulus checks right now. These first three checks, A, B, and C, are for 2023. And they're passed by Joseph Biden. And they're absolutely incredible. And let's look at those incredible checks right now and understand how deliciousness they are across the board. The first three checks from A, B, and C from Joseph Biden are absolutely incredible. He came along and passed a series of executive actions, which established the first three stimulus checks for 2023. They're stimulus checks A, stimulus checks B, and stimulus checks E. You qualify. You qualify if you're a single person and you make $75,000 or less. You qualify if you're a married couple and you make $150,000 or less. These are from the federal government, those people in D.C. They're for all Americans in U.S. states and U.S. territories. Therefore, you, congratulations. We're going to go over how to get these incredible 2023 stimulus checks in just a second. We're going to go over each check one at a time in this according. The first three are from Joe Biden, A, B, and C. Then came Congress and the established Morse checks in a brand new bill passed, and they're incredible, E through K, bringing us to hundreds of stimulus checks thereafter. Then I found you more checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. And normally we would stop at stimulus check Q, but today you get the debut of stimulus check R. I'm always finding you more stimulus checks, and today we get a brand new stimulus check R. It heats up today's broadcast with the latest details on egg eggflation. Uh, I feel cholesterol coming on already. <laughs> How much do you pay for 18 eggs? Jump in the live chat right now. 18 eggs. Tell me how much you pay. I had talked about $12, $12 for 18 eggs about a week ago at a discount uh, grocery store. It's not Nancy's grocery store. It's a discount one. Uh, and I thought I was alone. Apparently not. Eggflation is the rave of the moment. And if anyone uses that expression, tell them to pay me residuals on it. <laughs> Let's go into those first three checks, A, B, and C, right now to understand how delicious they are. They are stimulus checks for 2023 fast, and they're incredible. $6,500 to $12,000, a stimulus check for 2023. How do I get it? Step one, go under this video, become a member. Go right under this video and join this channel, channel one, channel two, or channel three. Then go into that brand new membership newsletter and apply for stimulus check A. You're not done there yet. Then go get some stimulus check B, Fifteen dollars to $80,000 of stimulus checks. How do I get that one? You go right in this video, subscribe. Subscribe to channel one, scale channel two, or channel three, and then go into this video and join the channel. Get incredible membership right now and get that membership newsletter 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's the only financial broadcast in America that has anything like this. It's at news.lla.com forward slash newsletter. I care so much about you because I'm going to be covering a lot of stimulus checks in this recording. It's too much for anyone to keep notes on. It's too much to keep track of by listening. I put it all for you together at news.lla.com forward slash newsletter. Go right on this video and become a member. These 2023 stimulus checks passed are monthly. They're available now, so do not wait to get these incredible stimulus checks. But stimulus check B is the one that pays people a lot of months. And that's what's helping people get 18 months, $3,000 of checks a month on average, and five checks per month. Wow, that is incredible. But we're not done there yet. No, of course not, because we got 300 checks to cover in this recording. And I got out of employment stimulus in the debut of the brand new stimulus R late in this recording. In addition to A and B, go get some incredible stimulus check C, which is just wonderful. And that is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Join this channel. Become a member. Welcome to the nearly 200 members who have joined Channel 1, Channel 2, and Channel 3 in the last two days. Love you to death. Thank you for becoming part of this incredible Purple Power family. Chimless Check C is for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. And let's look at some of the success stories, which should be your success story as well. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Then go get some Check C. Become a member right today. Subscribe to this channel. 
Go under the video, subscribe to channel one, channel two, and channel three of Owl 8. Become a member of any three channels and go right into that membership newsletter right now as soon as the video's over. Not while the video's playing, because I, I want you to be around with me. Otherwise, I'll feel lonely. <laughs> Let's go into the next checks, which are beautiful for utilities. Viewers are getting up now upwards of $15,000 of utilities. Go into the video, become a member, get some utilities. At check C in the newsletter, I tell you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Get combinations of checks. Wow. Nisi was at $23,000 of stimulus checks. She went to $50,000. Mark was at $32,000. He went to $50,000. Then he went to $100,000. And then $166,000 of these great checks that are law still for 2023, still paying out for 2023. They're incredible. And these are SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, low income, all of you. Go get them. Lorraine, $105,000 she was at. She went to $150,000. And this is just absolutely incredible. So how do I get them? How do you get them? Step one, you go out of this video and start getting these 2023 stimulus checks passed. Monthly MSCs available now. Their law. They've been passed. Viewers have gotten paid. They're getting paid more. How do you do it? You go right on this video. Get that newsletter at news.lnate.com forward slash newsletter. It's the newsletter that revolutionized the financial industry on December 23rd, 2022. Now you can get that newsletter around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't have to wait for anything. You can become a member right now and go right into that newsletter. And guess what's going to debut in that newsletter by about this afternoon? Stimulus Check R. Wow. I'm always looking for new stimulus for you, and Stimulus Check R is a biggie. That's coming up in just a second. So that is Stimulus Checks A, B, and C. What's the largest of these incredible stimulus checks? The largest of those incredible stimulus checks? Well, we're not done. Because <laughs> we got to go to Stimulus Checks E through K. We got to go to Stimulus Checks E through K. And let's look at those incredible Stimulus Checks E through K starting right now. Again, this is for you. If you make $75,000 less, single individual, married couple, $150,000 less. It's from the federal government. It's for Americans. You are an American. American states, American U.S. territories. I always remind myself to say that. Doesn't matter anything with your governor. I, you don't like your governor? I don't like your governor either. <laughs> I don't know who she is I don't, or he is. I don't know them. Uh, you don't like your governor? Great. They're not sending you stimulus checks. It's not, they never sent you the big stimulus checks. They never sent you any stimulus checks. These are from the federal government, those people in D.C. You don't like them either, but who cares so long as you get the money, right? So let's go to stimulus check E, $7,500 stimulus check. I love that. Rec lucky number seven. Then stimulus check F, 4000 Wow. Stimulus check G is a beautiful 30% off. Stimulus check H, $2,000. Oh, wow. $2,000 stimulus check. Great. This is you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, low income, everyone that makes $75,000 or less. It doesn't matter if you're behind on, ahead of the bills, behind on bills. It doesn't mean you're employed or you're not employed. It doesn't mean if you're young or you're old. It doesn't matter if you are still wearing lobster shorts into 2023. Just keep it to yourself. I just don't want to know about <laughs> Stimulus check I, $8,000 stimulus check. Stimulus check A, $8,000. And then stimulus check K, $14,000 stimulus check. Incredible. So those, my friends, are the first few, few, not all of them, few, stimulus checks for 2023 passed. Now, what's fascinating for you to learn today, and I'm going to be hitting this really in depth over the next few days, is that I was using hand gestures in 2020 where I said, over here, there's $500 million still sitting around. Remember that? And there's $500 million over here sitting around. Remember I used those hand gestures then? <laughs> that was two years ago. Well, I'm using those hand gestures again today. Why? Because there's hundreds of millions of dollars, in some cases, over a half a billion dollars of stimulus left over from 2020 for you to have. There's over a half a billion dollars of stimulus left over from 2021 for you to have. And there's half a billion dollars of stimulus over from 2022 still around for you to have. So that is why all this incredible stimulus, which is still around and still available for you, is heating up 2023. 2023 is going to be really one of the best years for stimulus. Why is it going to be one of the best years for stimulus? Because all that stimulus from 2020, and it's coming up in a second, has not been used up, and it's still available for you to get. Wow. Now, what's important for you to understand, I'm going to hit this really clearly right now, is Congress are politicians. They're not 
press agents. They're not newspaper reporters. Their job is just to pass laws. Their job is not to tell you about the law. My job is to. My job is to find the law and tell you about it, because if you don't know about it, then you don't get the money. The reason I started the channel was exactly that reason. I had never heard about the EIDL grant, the who? The, what is that word, EIDL? I never heard about that. $10,000? $10,000? A person? What, what is this thing? How come I was not told about this? I said the same thing you said. How come I was not told about $10,000? Because Congress does not have an obligation to be a news service. They're not a broadcasting company. They're not press agents. Their job is just to do things. And then other people's job is to tell you about it. And that's why I launched this channel, to teach you about things that have been passed that you didn't know about. And guess what I did not know about? Stimulus check R. I never heard about it. <laughs> it's debuting today. And it's debuting today on the channel, but it didn't start today. It's been around for a little while. So that is why I'm here. You need to learn, and I always need to learn more across the board. So let's go into the uh, incredible details of where we are now, then with the other checks that I found. Stimulus check L is a beautiful $100,000 stimulus check. A loan is a free money, and then M, a $4,000 stimulus check. Then we go to stimulus check N. Oh, I love stimulus check N. You know I do. It's a brand new tablet, computer, a laptop. I didn't know I could get a free laptop. Why didn't they tell me this? Their job is not to be press agents. Their job is not to run a news company. And your local news, they rather cover whatever whatever lip gloss Courtney's wearing today. They're not going to cover a brand new tablet, computer, or laptop for you. They, because they don't get one. <laughs> they don't care. Let's go to Stimulus Check O. Uh, also, N has a free internet. Wow, this is all in the membership newsletter. Stimulus Check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs. Stimulus Check P is a 3% refi. And then Q is a $8,000 Stimulus Check. Wow, that is incredible. Now, normally, normally, as of yesterday, as of last night, I would stop right there at stimulus check Q and say, there you go. Those are your 2023 stimulus checks, A through Q. But today, you're watching the breaking news. Stimulus check R debuts on L8 starting right now in this very first broadcast today. And stimulus check R is live right now. It's a ton of money. And let's go into that stimulus check R right now. Stimulus check R, my job is report stimulus. And I'd never heard of it. And I've never seen it. And how did I find out about it? In a YouTube commercial. <laughs> Not a YouTube channel, a commercial. A commercial, new stimulus check R is absolutely incredible. It's the employee retention credit. It's the employee retention credit. And it's absolutely incredible. If there's 10 people at issue, it's 260000 It can be over a million dollars. This is huge. What is the concept of it? First, where did it come from? It came from 2020, folks. Again, another 2020 stimulus check still paying out. But most people never heard about it. I never heard about it. And I record these videos around the clock. That brand new credible stimulus is huge. If you're an employer and you had employees in 2019 and you retain them during the pandemic, you did not fire them, you can get paid $5,000 per employee you retained in 2020. If you continue to keep that employee on staff in 2021, you will get paid $7,000 per quarter per employee. Yeah, it's an insane amount of money. It's an insane amount of money. So if you had an employee in 2019, you kept them on staff in 2020, you did not fire them through the pandemic, God bless you, you kept them on staff in 2021 for three quarters and did not fire them, guess what you're getting for that one employee? One employee, you're getting $26,000. Yeah, your eyes is popping out of your socket right now. You're getting $26,000. What if you had 10 employees and you kept them on staff in 2020 and 2021? You're getting $260,000. This is not even a question mark. This is the way it works. And yes, you're about to ask me, what if I had more than 10 employees? This can be over a million dollars. This is going into the brand new newsletter at about uh, this afternoon today, which is uh, the 29th of December, news.la.com forward slash newsletter. Are you feeling great? I'm feeling wonderful. Why? Because suddenly, all the topics that we have had on this channel are coming on back. 
We're covering our unemployment stimulus in just a second. We're covering stimulus for SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Rural Benefits, and stimulus checks A through Q. In stimulus check R, we're going back to the old days of EIDL and PPP and PUA. Can you get this wonderful stimulus check R if you're an employer that also got a PPP grant or loan? Reach out to your tax provider and ask them about the earned about this incredible uh, stimulus check R. It's not referred to as stimulus check R. It is referred to the uh, employee retention credit. Its details are all in the incredible newsletter. And the uh, tax preparer will do it for you. We only really started getting guidance about this from Treasury around 2021, early 2022. Again, it impacts you, and it's for what happened in 2020 and 2021. And it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's not too late for you to get it. You can get it right now. In the big second half, we can see with the breaking news for this market, the worst recession since the last recession? Worst market since the last recession? Warning signal number one. Was it hit by the markets today? LA's warning signal from last week. And remember all those warning signals I went over that would indicate we're having a recession and that's going to be two years? Did we hit it or do we miss it? Or are we close to it? And then eggflation. How much are you paying for 18 eggs? Jump in the live chat. I want to hear the latest details from you in this broadcast. How much money are you paying for 18 eggs? Um, here is Dragon. She is paying for five thirty-two for eighteen eggs. Um, yeah, I, I am. Um, I am uh, shouting uh, against your existence in my, under my breath because <laughs> I wish I can get eighteen eggs for five dollars. Uh, give me the address. I am flying in to get those <laughs> eighteen eggs. Eggflation heats up the big second half. Plus, we'll be going over more about these incredible twenty twenty-three stimulus checks. Have you become a member? Do it right now. Welcome to all the wonderful brand new members. Membership is way through the roof. About 200 brand new members on channel one daily. Membership on channel two and channel three is out of control, way up. 100% growth in just, you know, the last few days. Why? Because I cover a lot of stimulus checks. I cover a lot of stimulus checks. And there's no way for you to keep track of this by writing it down while I talk. And I do talk so fast sometimes. So it's too hard to keep track of it by writing it down. I do all the work for you. So what do I do? I put it into a beautiful website that's open now 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It launched on December 23rd as my Christmas gift to you. You go right into that newsletter website at news.la.com forward slash newsletter around the clock and apply for these incredible stimulus checks. And yeah. 2023 is going to be a great year for stimulus because we have all the stimulus from 2020 still around. All the stimulus from 20, most of the stimulus from 2020 is still around. The stimulus from 2021 and 2022, virtually all of it is still around. And boy, that's before they potentially could add other stimulus in 2023. It's absolutely incredible. 2023 has three years a built up, let's go to the hand gestures, stimulus left over from here and stimulus left over from there. There's a half a billion dollars from the last three years over here and there, that half a billion dollars is over here next year. Incredible. Isn't that incredible? We've never had a time on this channel where there's so much unused stimulus. And remember, it's not going to be on your local news. It's not going to be a broadcast news. Their job is not to tell it to you. My job is to find it. And even I missed stimulus R, which didn't become a law today. I just missed it. It's law right now. So you immediately have to go into that membership newsletter if you are a sole practitioner, if you are a small business owner and you had employees in 2019, 2020. It doesn't matter if you still have them or don't have them. Uh, that business in 2023 or 2024, it's for what happened then. Did you retain, retain them? Oh, boy. It's a big broadcast. In the big second half, we'll go with the late details on the market. Plus, we'll be jumping into this, this market. We were up 333, the Dow, when we went live uh, a little bit earlier. But where are we right now at about 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, live on air? And the NASDAQ, look at that. It was up 221. Are we up a little bit more? All the latest details in the big second half. Go under this video, become a member. Subscribe to Channel 1, Channel 2, and Channel 3. I love you to death. And the big second half, we're going to go over some more of that incredible 2023 stimulus checks. See you back in 60 seconds as more Intel Light continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, 
food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues in a big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California. Welcome to Melanie, who just joined the channel. Brand new member. Thank you for joining the Purple Power family. If you've not become a member, go right on this video and subscribe right now. Then become a member. Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3. Stimulus checks for 2023 pass law right now. And these are for SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Babbitts, and Veterans Babbitts. These incredible stimulus checks, A, to R, yes, the debut of R, as Ann just in the live chat. Hey, R, how are you? <laughs> Debuted right today. Is incredible. Incredible stimulus checks for 2023. But let's go into the market's news right now. So the Dow was initially up 333 points when we went live. But at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, right now live on air, is the Dow up 333 points? No. Where is the market right now? Let's look at the details starting right now for the shores of San Marcos, California. Good morning, and hope you're happy to beautiful, inflationary environment. <laughs> Dragon says she gets her eggs at Walmart. Uh, wow. Uh, I'll fly into Walmart because there's no Walmart near me. Uh, let's look at the markets right now. So where is the Dow? So the Dow is now up 391 points, 397 points. Wow. Almost heading to 398. It's up 1%. So we went live at 3... 133 points, the Dow, and now we're nearly at um, at nearly at 400. We may hit 400 any second. We're up 1.21 percent. Wow, the Nasdaq was uh, 221 points up when we went live, which is about two percent. Where is the Nasdaq and the tech-heavy Nasdaq? It's 265 right now, up almost 2.59 percent. Wow. One of the things I forgot to ex explain to you the last few days is very critical is why is gasoline getting cheaper? It's because of China. Now that China has ended its zero COVID policy, they're back in their cars, they're driving their cars, and you know how it works. More demand, less, next, less availability. And so that is why the price of gasoline is dropping because people are back and around and moving in China. Fascinating across the board. Let's go into the breaking news we're working on right now. If a market that's trying to rebound after Santa was supposed to be here. <laughs> Santa, where were you? I mean, uh, you're showing up after Christmas. Um, that's just not very fun, Santa. Santa Claus rally did not deliver any rally to you before Christmas. So is it arriving now? Well, uh, at some time is better than no time. But the worst market since the last recession is what we know right now. Let's look at the breaking details right now. And then that LA warning signal number one and that inflation uh, as Dragon says, go to Walmart, True Value, uh, Walmart, I said True Value Eggs, that's just, True Value does not make eggs, uh, <laughs> another company makes the eggs, uh, yeah, you buy your ham and you buy your eggs, <laughs> let's look at the worst market since the last recession, the markets are looking at ending the year really bad, the Dow is likely to end down 9.5% where it is right now, and the S&P down 21% this year, this is the worst year for the Dow and the S&P since 2008. What was 2008? Well, the last recession. Yeah, this is all lining up 
as expected. The NASDAQ is the worst performer of all the indices. It's down, down 35% year to date as investors got out of growth and went into value stocks. The analysis comes in from Stan Stovall. Oh, he's brilliant. He says, severity of the recession remains in question. Absolutely. We will know how severe the recession is around February. Two-year recession, as I predicted in February this year, or two-month recession, as some people are asking. Most people do not believe it's going to be a soft landing anymore. But do they believe it's going to be two years? We'll know by February. We expect it to be mild, says Stovall. Mild, that's interesting. Soft, uh, hard, but he's putting mild. I'm not quite sure what he puts as mild. He believes that investors are anticipating an economic recession to materialize in early 2023, uh, as evidenced by the last data. So he doesn't say when it's going to end. That's interesting. We all know it's going to start in early 2023. The question is, this could be two months, or it's going to be two years. Fascinating across the board. Tesla uh, was cut by Morgan Stanley today, but still remains bearish on Tesla. This is interesting. They believe that the EV market is going to really implode because people will not be able to forward the prices of those electric vehicles with an inflationary and recessionary environment. They believe Tesla will use that opportunity to expand operations. Do I agree? I think I do agree. Job filings rose and long-term jobless claims also rose. Wow. So let's look at those numbers right now. Last weekend, I debuted a series of data points for us to look at to indicate whether we're going to have a two-year recession or a two-month recession. And many of the data points concerned where we are right now and where we're heading. One of the, the first data points was jobless claims, jobless claims. And I said, if jobless claims really surge uh, to a 1.7 million or 2.7 million, then we have big problems with this economy. So let's look and see where that number is right now. Um, and did I queue up the graphic? Uh, I don't know if I did, but let me show you last week's. Um, let me show you last week's a uh, labor number. Last week's labor number showed us as 1.67 million continuing jobless claims and 211,000 brand new unemployment claims. I had said last weekend, if we go to 2.7, not 1.7, 2.7, continuing jobless claims, we're going to have a two-year recession. So what happened? We went to 1.7 today. Wow. So do we trigger our, my first data point? No, but we're heading to it very quickly. We went from 1.6 last week, continuing jobless claims, to 1.7. These are people who remain unemployed for more than one week. How about that new jobless claims? My data point was 260 thousand jobless claims. So where do we go to? We went from 2 and 11 last week to 225. That was fast. That was really fast. That's zooming really quickly across the board. So this is one of the concerns. Where will we get the indication of a two-year recession? We all understand we get the indication of it by February, but where? We're looking at labor, we're looking at housing, we're looking at the markets as well. A new ETF took form today. It's called the Element EV Solar and Battery Materials Future Strategy ETF. If you believe that certain electric battery operators will make great money during 2023 because of the Biden law that was passed earlier this year, then this may be an ETF that interests you. It's on the NASDAQ, it's on the NSYSE under CR. CHRG, charge. Mm -hmm. This is something you can play passively, says um, uh, one of the people behind it across the board. European markets are slipping today because of concerns about their recession. And then a new report out today from Jeremy Gleason at AXA Investments says um, tech is down but is definitely not gone away. That is certainly the case. 11 parts of this market are really down for the week and for the month. 11 sectors, that's not good. And time for some eggflation. <laughs> so eggflation. Give me residuals every time someone says that because no one said that until me. Uh, about two weeks ago, I talked about a local market I go to here. It's a discount market um, and it prides itself on cheaper prices. And the eggs for 18 were $12. No, I did not buy them. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nancy does not shop there with her $12 ice cream. $12 for 18 eggs. So I asked you during the live chat, what do you pay for eggs? And of course, Dragon had found a place, $5. Yeah, yeah, darn you. <laughs> Needless to say, um, my cholesterol is improving because I'm not buying $12 eggs. But here's inflation, eggflation. Cal Maine's latest reports show that consumers 
on average, are paying double what they paid for a dozen eggs a year ago. Wow. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. I never heard anything like this until today's broadcast. There is generic eggs, and then there's not generic eggs. <laughs> the average selling price of an egg, dozen eggs, is now hit 271 in the quarter ending November 2022. And that's up for $1.37 the previous year. So the average for a dozen, not 18 for a dozen, is 271 up from 131 last year. I, I mean, that's about right. I was paying about 131 last year. But what's the reason? There's a conventional egg, and then there is a specialty egg. Excuse me? <laughs> what's a specialty egg? A specialty egg is a chicken that bears eggs while wearing Lobster shorts. <laughs> I don't know what a specialty egg is. It's from a specialty chicken. I don't know what specialty chicken is. Is that a chicken that's, that, um, you know, no sirloin? <laughs> What's a specialty chicken? Uh, here's what's fascinating, is that the conventional eggs are usually cheaper than the specialty egg. Because the specialty eggs is, is important. I mean, that's the that's a chicken that was on American Idol. You know that chicken. Uh, so the specialty eggs are now suddenly cheaper than the basic egg, the conventional egg. Um, I don't know any special chickens. Can you introduce them to me? Because <laughs> I'd like some of those specialty eggs. I don't want to pay $12 for egg inflation anymore. I didn't do it then, and I'm not going to do it now. Uh, shares of cow mane are up 68%, and I think everyone's looking for that um, specialty chicken right now. They're like, can you put the specialty chicken in the newsletter? <laughs> can you put the address to the specialty chicken? I I've never heard of specialty chickens, nor their specialty eggs, and they're especially cheaper than the generic egg. The great news is that 2023 is going to be a huge year for stimulus. It's important to understand that this channel launched in 2020 when there was this thing called the EIDL grant I had never heard of. I had never heard of. A friend of, it told, a friend of mine told it to me in a Twitter in private message. I said, EIDL grant, what is that? What is that thing? And why was I not told about it? It's $10,000. I deserve $10,000. Why was I not told about it? That was my mindset then. It's your mindset right now as well. Why are you not being told about 2020 stimulus that's still around in 2023? Why are you not being told about 2021 stimulus that's still around in 2023? And why are you not being told about 2022 stimulus that's still around in 2023? My job is to tell you, because Congress's job is not to tell you. They're not press agents. They're not broadcasters. The local news, they're covering Chloe and Courtney's latest lip gloss. They're not covering this. They never did. They never cared because they're not getting it. You want it, and that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm always researching and finding brand new checks. And you would think that I found them all, but I'm always finding a brand new check. The debut of Stimulus Check R in the membership newsletter today. Make sure you consult a tax provider to go over that incredible stimulus R because it is a lot of money. That incredible membership newsletter, now 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's so much stimulus with 2023 stimulus law right now and me finding more stimulus checks like R around the clock. It's news.l8.com forward slash newsletter. Welcome to all the brand new members. Welcome to the members who joined during this chat, this live show as well. And I'm next with you at 11 a.m. Welcome Melanie DeWall for becoming a brand new member and anyone else who joined as a brand new member in the last 24 hours. God bless you. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you next at noontime as Home L8 returns to L8 at the 11 o'clock time slot. We have afternoons L8 at 1, 2, and 3 o'clock before we go into a brand new afternoons at 3 o'clock, I should say, and a brand new evenings at 5 o'clock. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the toast is done, the butter is buttering, and this cough is brewing on mornings. <laughs>